the original reconciliation took place down here. Captain Cook and his blokes were stuck here for you know, a month or so. They went out and found a whole lot of turtles and brought them back and the, the locals were upset that they weren't given any so there was a little bit of a, a skirmish and carry on. And um, after that they, they then went back to a rock down behind the bakery, the big flat rock or reconciliation rock we're going to call it. Got together and parleyed and it was all sweet after that so there was just an understanding sort of thing. So we reckon reconciliation started here. You can't make big things of, of, of the interracial idea up here because it, it's not... There's, there's no friction, it's, it's, I wouldn't say seamless, but um, there's just a great understanding. I also have in my past run, um, uh, owned and run Alamander Inn, which is a little guest house motel, and we used to get a lot of Aboriginal groups coming and staying with us too. And uh, I've had um, Aboriginal people from up on the Cape come up to me and saying, geez, Peter, you've got good Murrays around here. So it's just this understanding. If you walk downtown now, if you go and sit in the West Coast Hotel, and sit next to an indigenous person, there, they'll turn around and say, how are you going? And, and you can have a yarn with them for as long as you like. And it's, um, yeah, it's just, a, I think, a real special, special environment we've got here. Look, on that day, there was nothing special happening. Um, and I guess that's the attitude and the, and the approach that we take in Cooktown and Cookshire to the whole, um, the whole question of, of living together. Um, Cooktown's a unique place. It's, um, the actual reconciliation side of things, we, we, we try not to use the reconciliation word because we don't feel there's a need for it in Cooktown and Cookshire. We've got Hapevale out there, we've got Woodja Woodja down there. Cookshire takes up 80% of Cape York. So as, as such we interface with probably a dozen uh, Aboriginal communities and Aboriginal shires. Um, and we've got a good working relationship just based on necessity, based on pragmatism. So. As far as day-to-day -day life goes, I've lived in country Western Australia, country New South Wales, country Queensland, Papua New Guinea for eight years. Cooktown's got the best black-white interface of anywhere I've ever been. And it's a strength that we've got and it's something that we're building on. So when it came to days of apology or um, that, that related stuff, we just don't feel it's necessary. I mean, obviously there's ramifications for a lot of people out there who are, who are hurting, but from my position, as I was a councillor then, and as mayor now, it's, um, it's not, nothing that we had to hold up and, and wave around because it's something that we practice on a day-to-day -day basis.